this tutorial, I want to look at some of the other features of assembly. So um, we'll look at exploding, rendering, and animating. So um, as you saw when we built this, we had the ability to um, create motion um, on the arms. And um, also using the servo at the back here, we can rotate the whole unit um, here as well. So if you remember, we created a gear relationship on the um, gear here um, that keeps these two gear, um, gear arms together. And um, to do an animation, you need to actually create some motors. So I'm going to go into the rotational motor and I'm going to apply it to the spindle in here and um, I am going to ask for a 90 degree rotation so I'll set that limit and I can specify the speed that I want it to turn so um, for the animation I want it reasonably quick so I'm going to set it to say um, 15 degrees per second and then you need to specify the axis. So we're looking here. So this is turning in a anti-clockwise direction. I want to take it in the opposite direction. So we click on the flip direction. So that will come forward. And I can right mouse click to finish that. Then I'm going to do the same on this one here. I'm going to rotate it around that axis. And we want this moving outwards so we want to reverse the direction again and for this I've got a maximum distance of 25 degrees and I'll do that in um, say 3 degrees per second and I can finish that one as well so that's just setting things up um, if we want to we can go into the animation editor and um, simulate the motors um, but that's all I wanted to do at this stage so I'm going to go to the tools menu go into explode render and animate ERA for short so here um, we've got a number of tools we've got the ability to apply um, styles so for example I could choose say um, blue and apply that to the servo motor um, and I'll do that on all of them as well as the um, the spindles so that applies that in there um, if I wanted to sort of add a bit of extra color I could um, make the um, arms Red and um, I could maybe use something like a uh, steel and apply that to these items here. So that sort of just helps with the clarity on the display. So that's the first part, so the rendering. Um, so let's move on to do the exploded view. Now um, there's an auto explode um, which does a reasonable job half the time um, but quite often it will move things upwards so we can um, maybe just do the manual explode. So to start off with um, I'm going to um, choose a number of elements so I'm going to go with the um, Spindle, servo, um, there's a actually I'll cancel that. Let's go with the back section first. So we go with the um, the locking plate.
and we'll take these two items as well. So we'll accept that. The next step is to choose where you're going to take it from. So we'll um, choose the cross as the point. And we're going to move it off of that face in a backwards direction and specify the distance. So we'll just right mouse click to accept that. So that, that sort of just moves that away from this part here. Um, so the servo arm, sorry, just right mouse click to finish. Um, so if I um, now hit escape and go back to our um, explode option, I want to take this part here. And I'm going to drop it back from that face in that direction and then pull that out. So you can see that we're sort of giving some distance in there. Um, then we'll do the um, plates separately. Let's just restart that so that it's all clear. So this one here, right mouse click to accept it. And we'll bring it out this way. So I'm going to take this one this time. Same deal. So that sort of gives me the explosion at the back. Um, so um, now we need to sort of look at the front section. Um, so in this case, we're going to go with the um, upper plate. And the spindle, the servo. And I'll take these two items as well. And we'll go from here, top face, and move them up. So um, as you can see, we've sort of got that moving out. There are options in here as well. Um, so I've asked it to move components as a unit, but you could get it to sort of separate all out separately um, if I wanted to. So coming back to here, um, we'd look at taking um, these items now. Actually, if I go back, I don't want the servo unit, so I'll um, hold my control key down while selecting that and accept. So as you can see, we're sort of slowly moving the parts out. Um, then um, we'll take this one. We can adjust that split distance later. So that gives me enough sort of space in there to sort of specify sort of where um, all parts are coming from. Um, so that just leaves the um, gears and the um, plates. So I'm just going to take um, this one and 
bring that one out. So that sort of gives you an exploded um, view type scenario. Um, and you can sort of see which parts have been exploded, um, some of them as groups. And um, then you've got the um, plates in here. So um, possibly I'd want to do just once more. So we'll take that one and we'll split it downwards. So we'll take that bottom plane. So that gives me my exploded view like so. Um, depending on which way around you want to go, you can sort of get the orientation so that you can sort of see enough of the parts. Um, because what we need to do is we need to, at that stage, um, go up to um, the configurations and create a new one. And we'll call that exploded. And we can come back to that at any stage. So that saves the orientation of this as well. Um, you may want to sort of just zoom in on that a little bit. And um, click on there. And get that sort of orientation and position right. So we'll go save from there just to get that zoomed in look. For the last part I'm going to create a animation so if I go into the animation editor you'll see that we have the different components that you can use um, so here if I right mouse click and go to edit definition you can see the two motors that we created so we go OK and they drop them onto the um, chart um, so if I sort of just move this one up to run after the other one and let's give it a play so we can just run it and you can see that it's sort of just taking forever at that rate and we also need to collapse the thing so um, if we turn that off don't want to save it I'll come back and do that later close ERA and now looking over here I can come in here and edit a definition on here so we've got that running three degrees a second at um, 25 degrees so that's sort of like about eight seconds and I'd like to speed that up so um, maybe maybe take that into um, eight degrees a second um, so it's sort of three seconds to run and go finish and then same on the other one let's just speed that one up a fraction so edit definition uh, and we'll take that one up to 30 degrees so go finish and then if we go back into era um, as i said before um, i'd like to sort of make this collapsed so we can go to um, leave it on there otherwise I could sort of open it up but we'll leave it on collapsed go into the animation editor and edit definition on the um, so you can see the, the time time frame has dropped dramatically so I'll move that one out give it a quick play see how it looks that's sort of um, a lot better Okay, so um, once it's finished that cycle, I want to close it up again. So click in here, right mouse click and paste, right mouse click and edit definition. Sorry, so we'll um, reverse direction, select this one, right mouse click, copy, and paste that one back in. And we'll drop that back to somewhere around here. And again, we'll, we'll um, reverse direction. So if we um, put it on a faster play, just to sort of see what happens. And you can see that that one runs through reasonably quickly. So we'll drop that back to the start. 
times one. So our exploded view we can add in as well. Same scenario. Um, initial value is going to be collapsed. Exploded view and common velocity of all parts. Um, starting with the innermost, so we go OK on that. So that drops that um, back to the um, beginning. So I can see the whole thing sitting here. I'm going to run that right back to the end. And just drop that in. So you can see that it's sort of um, backed on each other. Um, so this one here is the back part moving, made up of sort of these parts here. Um, so these are the um, side panels, and I want them to run together. So if I hold the control key down and select them together, I can drop them back to happen at the same time. So then I've got um, this one here, and this is... Um, the parts exploding from here. Um, I can leave these running uh, sequentially. So then we have the arms and these ones are on the other side. So if we do the same thing, we grab those, drop them back to start at the same time. Just move them forward. And then finally, we've got the um, plate at the end, which I can drag in like so. So if we run it from the start, you can see that it's opening up, rotating around. So we're, we're sort of using these options here. And then it closes up. And finally, it separates out to complete the process. So from there, you can um, save the animation, give it a name if you want to. And um, in here, we have options um, to save it as a movie. So you can then sort of create that um, by clicking on here. And you just give it a um, file format that you're after, WMV, Keyshot. Um, video from Windows, whatever, AVI, and you give it a name and save it out. So, yeah, that completes this tutorial.